ocean is an incredible and very beautiful place. It can be quite remarkable to explore its depths by using equipment like scuba gear, as many people do all around the world. However, when diving practices are not implemented, a dive that starts out thrilling can turn deadly very quickly. There was one young diver who allowed his excitement of the ocean to take over. His lapse in judgment would ultimately place him in a horrifically precarious situation. That is almost too terrifying to imagine. The Blue Hole is a popular diving spot within the Red Sea located in Egypt. It's a sinkhole with a maximum depth of more than 328 feet. People who complete this dive can really see the ocean's beauty by getting to see stunning coral and colorful fish. At around 184 feet down, there's something known as the Arch, which is a long tunnel that experienced divers like to travel to. There are many reasons why people from all over the world are drawn to the Blue Hole. However, despite its beauty, the Blue Hole is tied to a very dark and frightening history. Many divers have lost their lives in this treacherous spot. It's considered to be the most dangerous diving spot in the world. The horrific history associated with the Blue Hole isn't enough to scare off everyone, however. Its beauty and mystery attracts many experienced divers, as it did for 22-year-old Russian-Israeli diver Yuri Lipsky. The diver had come to visit the Blue Hole for a weekend in April of 2000. He had reached out to a very experienced technical diver named Tarek Omar and told him that he wanted to try to film the arch during his dive. Tarek told him that in order to do that, he would need to spend two weeks training with him to learn how to complete the dive safely. But Yuri didn't have two weeks and he was determined to complete his quest no matter what. He ended up turning down Tarek's offer and decided that he was going to set off on his own, despite being warned of the dangers he could face. Equipped with his diving gear, Yuri put on a helmet camera so he could document his journey on film. When diving, it's incredibly important to stick with a buddy. This way, in case that an emergency happens, someone will be there to provide help. But Yuri, so eager to complete his quest, left his buddy behind almost immediately after plunging into the water. Yuri dove deeper and deeper, reaching depths that he was not equipped for. What happened as a result is almost too horrific to imagine. One of the greatest dangers you can face while diving in the blue hole is something known as nitrogen narcosis. When you reach a certain depth while diving, you reach this irreversible phenomenon in which your ability to make decisions is impaired. It's often compared to the feeling of being intoxicated with alcohol. The deeper you go, the more affected you are with narcosis. Many people will begin to experience feelings of anxiety, sleepiness, delay in reaction, and trouble with motor skills. It will become difficult to focus and take in your surroundings. Because your mental state is so impaired, you'll likely end up diving deeper than you ever planned to. Eventually, you'll begin to hallucinate and will lose consciousness. Instead of using special equipment to help make sure you're getting enough oxygen at great depths, Yuri set off with just a simple oxygen tank. On top of that, he was carrying heavy camera equipment that weighed him down, causing him to plummet quickly. Yuri, likely pulled down by his own equipment and affected by nitrogen narcosis, wasn't able to regain enough buoyancy to get back to the surface of the water. This would ultimately result in his tragic death on April 28, 2000. Perhaps the most horrific and disturbing aspect of this story is that every painful moment of Yuri's fate was documented on camera. The footage has now been viewed by millions. It shows Yuri reaching the edge of his descent. He is seen thrashing around and struggling, clearly in a sense of panic. Because he was experiencing oxygen toxicity, the thrashing was likely the result of seizures. Frantically, no longer able to think straight, Yuri ripped off his breathing mask. Knowing what horrible fate had likely occurred, Yuri's mother came to Tarek and asked him to help recover her son. 
Knowing that his attempts to warn Yuri of the dangers of the Blue Hole had failed and cost him his life, Tarek agreed to travel down to the depths of the ocean to recover the young man. The very next day, Tarek discovered Yuri's body, along with his helmet camera floating nearby. He was able to bring both Yuri's body and the camera back up to the surface of the water. Once Tarek got up to the surface, he was able to examine Yuri's camera and was shocked to see that it was still intact. He was so sure it would be destroyed. While playing the horrific footage that captured the last minutes of Yuri's life, unfortunately, the young man's mother was at his side, watching it all unfold. This is something that to this day, Tarek greatly regrets. If he had known what was on the camera, he would have just thrown it in the ocean, Tarek said later in an interview. I think the thing that really upset and saddened me about it was that his mom has it now. She has the footage of her own son drowning. Yuri is among many people who lost their lives in the blue hole, yet because of the footage he left behind, his death is often considered the most notable. Although what happened to Yuri was tragic, his story spread awareness about the importance of diving safety, likely saving the lives of many in years to come.